Hello friends and welcome! You are watching episode number 10 of our RimWorld Fort Ranchos Let's Play. My name is Sean and I'm glad that you've chosen to spend some time watching me play video games today. As you can hear from the music, when we left off it was day number 32 and the ponds of Fort Ranchos were under Manhunter Pack Siege. And it looks like a Manhunter Pack of Wargs, the scariest, maybe second or third scariest Manhunters, maybe second scariest after Boom Rats. Anyways, very scary manhunters. Um, they are in the area. And we are going to, in a very cowardly way, probably stay behind the doors for the most part. But maybe we'll run out and try to uh, take some of them on. Let's see what they do. For now, though, I'm going to lock all these doors. I guess I'm going to have to send some pawns around to close them up because they're all locked open. And I've also been hitting the wrong key on some of them to make sure that they shut. Uh, you don't want to stay held open. Okay, there we go. Good. All right, so we're gonna have to run around and close all these doors, um, and then maybe we'll take try to take on some of the man hunting wargs. Also, maybe I could have done this before the episode started, but I need to set up an indoor um, home uh, indoor area. Um, so we're just gonna we're gonna do that real quick here. Do that. You're gonna go like that, so we can cover pretty much that whole area do that. We're going to go over here and include there. And this area here will be good. That's fine. I probably shouldn't have that uh, have that in there. Um, but uh, the rest of it is okay. So then we'll do that and that. That little square. Some of those things. Uh, we're getting there. We're almost done. Almost done that stuff and and then the middle is all inclusive and that little swatch there and then the rest of the garden down here and that door and that door and i'd say that's good okay so now let's restrict everybody to area one and uh we can undo that and then uh, they're going to start waking up here in a few minutes and we're going to want to go and, and close all those doors so the wargs don't bust in. Although I don't, I'm not too worried about them trying to bust in. They're probably just going to wander around out there and be super annoying and scary. Although sometimes they do try to bust in in a very frustrating way. Alright, so now everybody's awake. Everybody's, what are you doing Rasta? You are the laziest pawn I have. So I'm going to start... Oh, I guess everybody's idle, which is a surprise, but, you know. Um, I guess that's what, what what's happening. So we'll have you guys go shut those doors, Rasta. Shut that door right there. And then you're going to come over and shut that one. And Julian, you'll come over and shut that door. Don't draw the attention of the wargs. Oh, boy, that scared me. I thought they were going to come and start banging at that door. Now it looks like Volk is idle as well. Why don't you come over and shut that door, Rasta? Come shut that door. Why don't you guys like plant gardens or something? I'm sure there's something you could be doing that's useful. I'll set up uh, some digging here in a minute. Rasta, you're good to go. You two are good to go. Don't draw the attention of that warg. Oof, scary. Volk, come over and get this one too, please. Almost, almost there. There you go. Good. Nice job. All right. Now let's uh, let's start mining out this this thing here. Orders mine. Oh, it definitely sounds like they're attacking when they when they bark like that. All right. So they're gonna do that, and we'll do this. And um, I guess I could put a a uh, thing right there. That's fine. So that means we can do this one up here. Clips, scary. Um, that means we're gonna lose our uh, a lot of our power supply, unfortunately. I did set up that. Okay, I need to connect those up though. They're not really gonna do much good if they're not connected to anything. Another standard thing for me to forget about. I don't think I'm the only one. Probably pretty common thing for pretty much everybody to forget about, honestly. All right, so we're gonna go through here, and then this one will be like this. And we'll do that. Drill all that out. We'll go there. Fine. 
There's another support area like that. Put mining there and mining there. And uh, that's good. And you and actually the rest of this stuff can be mined out because it'll support itself. Over here we can, whoops, I don't want to go that far though. Go to here. I think this should all be okay as well. Although I'm going to leave like one little pillar there for it. And um, we'll just leave that one right there. It's fine. Like, like that. That'll be good. All right. Uh, let's put a pillar there like I said I was going to. That's a sandstone block, right? Just throw one sandstone block right there. And uh, there we go. Everybody can mine, right? Good. So nobody should nobody should go idle at this point. And everybody should have mining set to like their lowest priority, so it's not like they're going to refuse to do anything that, that they could be doing something better. I'm actually going to set up a, an additional uh, stone cutter table, like right there. Actually right there will work. And uh, we'll get that set up, except I don't want it to be built with the default method. I want to use steel, right? Too bad I can't use stone for it. That would be kind of neat. I'm definitely not going to use plasteel this point. Um, yeah, it takes too much wood. It takes 75 wood. I'd rather just use 105 steel. Odds are we're going to find some more steel in here. And uh, there's there's a whole bunch down here, right? We just haven't haven't opened it up yet. So I could try to kill like these two wargs over here. Maybe start trying to pick them off one by one. Diego is not one that I want to use, but you have that AK. And Rasta, you have a weapon you could use. And Julian, I've already drafted you. Volk, you know what? You could even use your weapon over here too. Why not? Why not take on uh, the danger? Well, here's one thing we could do that would make things better, though, is have Diego pick up that assault rifle, and then he'll come over and help too. Oh, I don't like that there's three of those guys, though. There was only two, and that was a lot more reasonable trying to fight them. Run away, Julian. Run away. Oh, I didn't expect them to all be banging on that door. Shit, that might have been a huge mistake. Um you guys undraft. Uh, I'm going to expand our loud area to include that door. Who's my best builder? Uh, that is Volk, right? Volk and Mint. So Volk, repair that door, please. And, uh, okay, good. They're already wandering away, so I should be able to repair the door, and then they'll, they'll leave us alone. Okay, well, that was kind of a mistake, so let's not, let's not repeat that mistake. I don't think I can take on that many wargs. <laughs> oh, Julian, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Don't even think about going out that door, you dumbass. Jeez. All right, Volk, get over here. Let's clear that allowed area. All right, there you go. You're undrafted. I say you're undrafted. Now you guys can do whatever you want, and we're just going to sit inside like a bunch of cowards. Let those guys rage around the outside. Maybe we'll get raided or something. That'd be cool. I don't know that I've ever seen a raid happen during... Yeah, I had to. If I had to have seen a raid happen during a Manhunter pack. It seems almost impossible that I haven't seen that happen, to be honest. Now, what's going on with these pants? Are these, these are like pants that we made ourselves? Why are they not... Like, why are they not being included over here? Because I don't have it set for apparel. That's why. Oh boy, I am, I am pretty dumb. All right, let's expand this stockpile. That's part of the reason we're doing this. Expand it over here, too. All right. And mine that out. And mine that out. I'm actually going to go ahead and build the support over here. There we go, right there. It's fine. Then I can mine out 
this one. Mine out that one. There we go. Great. And now it's bedtime. These should be the uh, corgis. Is that what the little dogs are? Terriers? No. I'm talking about the little dogs that are actually in the game, not like what actual little dogs are. <laughs> what are the little yappy dogs that we do have in the game? They're not corgis. Uh, anyways, that's what those little dogs should sound like. Cause, uh, they probably make the annoying yapping sound like the little dogs do in real life. Scott, Scotties? Ah, who knows? Those are terriers, Scottish terriers, right? I, I you know, I'm, I'm uh, in my mind. I'm just like going through the most boring things I could talk about while we're waiting here, and that one came up pretty quickly. What, what, what kind of dog breed? What kind of fake dog breed exists in, within the world of this game? All right, let's uh, slow things down. I'm gonna try to take this work out like an idiot. Rasta, why don't you go up there? Diego, you can go there. And then we'll uh, open ourselves up for another invasion again. Eclipse is ending. Rasta, jeez, get away. That ward can do serious damage to you. <laughs> How badly did you get hurt? Not too badly, that's good. What a dumb ward. <laughs> Nice job, guys. Undraft. Where'd the rest of them go? They're still all over here, so that's fine. I'm not going to be able to enjoy the meat of that thing, but at least it's dead. So there's some consolation. Oh, uh, they're spread now. And I wonder if that's because they're... Are they starting to get hungry and tired? Sort of. That means they'll be running away before too long. All right, let's put another support in right there where it belongs. Probably try to kill some of those wargs. But you know, I mean, if I can't kill them all, why just kill some? I guess because I'll get the meat and the skin and that stuff is really valuable. So Diego, you come down here, Julian come down here. Let's try to kill this one between the two of you. It's one smart warg. Okay, Diego, you don't need to go quite that far. Why don't you just go into the doorway and withdraw. Julian, why aren't you firing at that work? <laughs> Are you not able to hit it from there? I really don't like pulling you this far out. Hey, there we go. I was supposed to get the work's attention. Why is it not? Work's too smart for us. Combat's player, nice. It's probably going to get caught up fighting those works. Where's he at? Over there, and where are the wargs? Well, he might be safe from them. That warg is just not just does not want to attack Julian. I mean, I don't mind exactly, but I would like to kill it. All right, nice job, fellas. Get back inside. There's the speed adjustment. A little little too much of an adjustment, but... Well, it looks like the wargs are not going to come over and try to kill our traitor. It's fair. I don't know how that one died either. I know how that one died. I killed it. It's still not dead yet. I don't know how that one died. Maybe attacked by another warg. Oh, good. Maybe these... <laughs> Well, I really don't want to go out there to trade with them. <laughs> Not with all those wargs out there. There we go. Now that they're going to get into a fight with each other. Yeah, fight the wargs with melee. That's smart. Real smart. Oh, jeez. You guys are pretty dumb, I must say. Yeah, throw the grenade on yourself. Smart. 
again. Alright, now all the works are going to try to ch chase you guys down. Are they going to be able to get you? They're not going to attack your cows, unfortunately. But, you know, more food, a couple of new guns, some uh, drugs, I guess. I won't be able to trade with them, unfortunately, but um, that's, that's not the end of the world. Wow, Prissy is one fast runner. That warg is, like, damaged but sleeping? Huh. Boy, he's no longer a uh, manhunter. These guys still manhunting? These guys are still manhunting, but that one sleeping down there isn't for some reason. Maybe this one will come and try to eat it. I bet he is. No, he's not. What is he doing? He's just manhunting. Food is getting a little lower. Not terrifyingly low, but, uh, you know, low enough. Well, I could have swore there was a little X on something there. I guess not. X on that. Rawr, rawr. Oh. All right. Well, Manhunter Pack is just about worn off. Basically, when everybody wakes up, probably going to be okay to start heading outside again. Because I think when these wargs wake up, they won't be manhunting anymore. Not sure. I don't know that I want to, like, open the door and start attacking them or anything. I'll just leave them alone. And then we'll find out what they do in the morning. We've still got, we've still got more mining to do. Uh, although I, I see that we have stopped, uh, stopped mining because the... <laughs> We came up against the edge of the uh, allowed area. I recall just to expand the allowed area up, up a little bit. If we end up getting a um, infestation, it'll be up here and should be pretty easy to deal with. We can, we can go ahead and mine that out as well. There we go. This pillar should hold everything up. Um, I never did set this up to Add bill, make any stone blocks, do forever. And we'll be able to burn through the whatever little bit of stone slag that we've generated from our mining. These guys still manhunting. Research is slowly moving. Rust is going to break any moment now and probably set some fires. Hopefully not walk outside the, uh, walk outside the area. Looks like that one's taken off. This one is too good to leave. He just flat out refuses. He's like, I'm not leaving without getting me a pawn. Gonna chomp on a pawn. Pawn chompers. The new reality show coming to A&E next week. Oh, that music faded out surprisingly. Like it sounded like it faded out in the middle of the song. Uh, does that mean that the Manhunter wargs are gone? That one's still manhunting. Are there any more? Cool. All right. Well, that means we'll be able to go around and collect the dead bodies. Spoils in one day, huh? And that one's not injured, though. He's just sleeping. I guess I could try to kill him. Diego. And... Who has the long range, uh, long range gun? If you come down here too, though. Um, Rasta? Nope, you don't. Julian must be Julian. Where's Julian? Oh, Julian's already been drafted. Must be Volk. There we are, Volk. You can, uh, you can fire from up here, I guess. Let's see what happens. Probably too far out of. Uh, almost in range. It's very close. It's not like you need to take cover from the from the uh, warg, though. <laughs> you guys are so incompetent. Why is it running away? They're supposed to be trying to fight me, warg. I really don't want to move 
closer. Seems like a suicidal choice on my part. Well, I think that warg is going to try to go off the map. So you guys can go back to doing whatever you want, and I'm going to going to take my chances and uh, unrestrict everybody. Julian, why don't you haul in that warg? And uh, Volk, can you haul that one? And then we should have another one there. And another one over here. But Mint, you won't haul because you're too good for that sort of thing. So there we go, you can haul. We're no longer having an Eclipse. That's a little outdated. Um, this is set up to hold corpses. Yep, good. All right, so we've got ourselves some free meat. That'll help help get us some more food and some more clothing too. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty productive episode so far. Didn't really have to do much. We got some mining done and, and expanded out our storage area. Um, uh, didn't take any injuries at all from, well, no way, we did get s some scratches and stuff from the uh, warg attack, but nothing serious. Um, had a little bit of fun and uh, got ourselves some meat and, and nice clothes too. I feel like warg leather is gonna be a good good quality item to, uh, to make clothing out of. So yeah, I feel pretty good about all of that. Um, we should make sure that none of these, uh, none of these bodies have personal shields. No personal shield on you. Um, how about that one? Nope. It didn't look like any of them did. I know there's a, another one somewhere that I guess we maybe, maybe we've already buried them. Ah, who knows? I'm not too worried about it. Um, that means minor break, but nope, not for very long. Rasta is in a sort of a bad mood. Be so upset about Rasta. Just an ugly environment. Tired. Well, you know, I mean, if you want to sleep, you can. I'm not telling you to stay awake. Oh, you. Well, good then. Do do sleep. Must be getting sort of close to nighttime. Fall is coming though. We need to uh, probably ought to go ahead and roof this area off. Clear no roof area. We've got our electricity set up and stuff. And we will expand build roof area. I think we can build a roof on this whole area now. And um, we will put in the, the uh, glow lamps. I'll say that's good. But I kind of like that, I guess. It does look like that covers all of the, um, like all of that area is good growable area. So if, if you're there, then I would want you there, but there, right? Well, that's a weird, weird setup. So actually you should be there, cancel. And you should be up and over one, like that I would say. I think I'm going to have to bring the power lines in a little bit to get those working. So I made a few mistakes. I made a few mistakes with this, but uh, nothing too critical. It is weird that I made it so wide. I don't really understand that. Yeah, why would I do that? Ah. Uh, no use crying over spilt milk, I say. I'm sure I've said that at some point. It's a pretty common saying. It seems like one that I would say a lot if I say it now. Well, I didn't, don't have any more water over here, do I? I'm really thirsty. Luckily, I only have like one minute left in this video. And it turns out I did have a little bit of water left, but now that one's empty too. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. I had a good time. And uh, I hope you did too. Um, uh, I want to thank everybody who subscribes to my channel for the very act of subscribing. I really appreciate it. Makes me happy. And uh, uh, everybody who watches these videos, you guys are the best. Um, I really enjoy that people like watching me play games and um, just uh, like being a part of my fun little channel. Um, it makes me happy and uh, uh, I can't appreciate how much uh, that is a good thing for me. I, it makes me forget how to speak English, actually, apparently. 
Um, I hope you will join me again for the next episode, and I will join you uh, tomorrow to make that episode. How does that sound? All right, I'll see you then. Bye.